Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna do a flight comparison between the Fenton 4 Pro and my Mavic Pro and I just kind of want to like show you guys before going outside and fly my drones in the cold how they look like next to each other so let's just kind of compare the drones and see what are the main differences here. The Mavic Pro comes with this like controller here that you attach your smartphone here in the bottom and it looks pretty small and minimalistic and it's just easy to carry around when you close it up it's pretty small compared to other drones and here comes with kind of some shortcuts too so for example you can take pictures here you can start recording you can play or you can turn on or turn off there's multiple things that you can do using this so this is a very practical controller this one here is the phantom 4 pro and it's enormous this is huge this looks like something that NASA designed in 1980s. It feels heavy. It's not something you can just put in a bag and go side to side. You see the difference? Like this is just so much smaller and lighter and this is actually makes my arm work out a little bit. I feel like I'm exercising. One, two, three. I don't like this. I think this is huge and a huge waste of space. For charging, it's just like a very small USB connector here. This one here has a specific connector you have to use. So if you're in a go and you forgot the power source, I don't know how would you would be able to actually charge this. This one here is so much easier. You can just kind of use any power source that kind of takes USB. NASA 1984 versus Xbox controller. Let's kind of compare the drone itself. So the Phantom 4 Pro, the way to travel with this guy, you can take those things off. But besides that, it basically just stays like this. You kind of have to, have to carry the entire monster like that. And this is so heavy. Other drone looks like this when it's all closed. And when you open up, it looks like this other one first. Look like that. And then the bottom ones is kind of, you pull it up and to the side, up to the side like that. And it looks like this. This is so much lighter. This one you necessarily don't have to take away. You can just kind of close it up like that and kind of close it with the drone. It just makes so much easier to pack. So let me just open the drones and compare it side to side so you guys can see it. So this Phantom 4 Pro is enormous. Like I said, it does feel like something from NASA. I don't know why I'm talking about NASA. I actually, guys, posted a video, my first vlog and it's my visit to the museum flight. There's a lot of things from NASA there and they look like this. This is just old and bulky and big. It doesn't feel modern at all. This one does feel almost like a little weapon. It's so much smaller and refined. So I definitely like this one much better. We're gonna do the fly. We're gonna compare footage to see which one is gonna provide me the better footage. I have a feeling that the Phantom 4 Pro will provide a little bit better footage because the camera is better, but I don't think it's going to be that noticeable compared to the Mavic Pro. We can kind of get a conclusion to this drama, who she's going to pick. It's like The Bachelor, right? Who she's going to pick, Ben or the other guy? Now the other guy looks so much more handsome and lighter and nicer. This guy is too bulky for me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just joking. If you guys want to see my unboxing video, I'm going to put the link up here to the unboxing of the Phantom 4 Pro. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of this guy here, I'm also going to link it here. So both of them, both of the links are going to be available. Yeah, so honestly, I just don't like to carry heavy things.
I just got back from flying the drones. I hope you guys like it. The Phantom 4 Pro has the better footage. It's worth sacrifice the super good footage for portability and my Mavic Pro. I think I might get rid of my Phantom 4 Pro and I might just stick with the Mavic because it's just simple, easy. See that camera there? The Canon. My husband purchased it a while ago for me to vlog and for him to do some photography and stuff like that. The fact is, this is being filmed on my iPhone 7 Plus. I like to film on iPhone. It's so much easier to get the footage out and, it, and it's just easy to set up. And I have this fancy camera. When we went to Hawaii with my husband when we got married in our honeymoon, we actually only took pictures using our iPhones. My husband got amazing, amazing sunset picture. He took his iPhone, I think it was five or something. But the point is, we had a fancy camera that was like literally sitting on the bedroom in the resort. Instead of actually using our Canon, we are using the iPhones the entire time. Professional use and stuff like that. Of course, you want to use a Canon to get headshots or to get your you know, personal pictures. But I was lazy about it and I was like, no, I'm good with the iPhone. So, yes. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please put the thumbs up. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel so you get notifications about new things that I'm gonna be posting. And happy holidays, guys. Let's stay connected and thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Looks like a little video game. Ah, drone. Oh my God, my MacBook arrived. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Ah!